Let's send it back out to Morgan Brennan at the Space Symposium in Colorado. Because when I think of space, I think of Colorado Springs. I think of the Air Force. Uh, exactly. You've got the Air Force here. You've got a big Space Force presence here. Lots of military and lots of commercial companies. This is one of the biggest space conferences of the year, Brian. I've been speaking with executives from a number of companies all day long, including just a short while ago, the billionaire who, as Forbes recently put it, has helped NASA and the U.S. return to the moon, Cam Gaffarian. Now, Gaffarian is the co-founder of a number of space companies, Intuitive Machines, publicly traded, which recently made history with its lunar lander, Axiom Space, which is now regularly sending private astronauts to the ISS and building its own commercial space station, X Energy, which makes nuclear reactors, uh, Quantum Space, which is focused on deep space commerce, and his investment firm, IBX, which is really at the epicenter of all of it, I asked him how he sees the space economy materializing. I think the space economy is just growing. The whole ecosystem is growing in a massive way. And I think what's happening also with AI and quantum computing is accelerating it. Um, so not only, you know, we're making a difference for everybody on Earth with stuff that we're doing in LEO and beyond, but also we're you know, pushing the envelope in human exploration of you know other other planets and uh, hopefully other stars. I just wonder if you think, especially as an investor yourself, if, if more broadly investors, particularly in the public markets, fully appreciate or understand how far we've come in the space economy and how close we are to some of these key milestones that maybe just a couple of years ago were seen as more sci-fi becoming real. I don't think they quite do appreciate it, and but but it's very normal. And what I mean by that is. Think about uh, search engines and early days of search engines. Did investors appreciate uh, you know, investing? No, it was very difficult. If you think of early days of Amazon, for years the investors didn't quite appreciate that. Uh, early days of airlines or even Tesla or Apple, right? So when you do things that are new, right, and it's a new ecosystem and something that you know is just beginning, uh, it's normal for um, for people to not, don't quite appreciate it. How much do you think it can grow? Do you have like a number in your head or no? Things that you can do in microgravity, like bioprinting, printing corneas and retinas, or a revolution in pharmaceuticals, or um, uh, manufacturing fiber optics, right, that can carry infrared signals that you cannot create on Earth. I mean, that by itself, it's going to be a huge market. When I sort of think about like SpaceX, great company. We are one of their largest customers overall, my portfolio companies. Um, but it's an awesome company and what they've done in terms of revolutionized transportation to space. But Starlink has created this incredible economic growth for the company. So sometimes it's not the early things that you do, it's sort of tangential stuff that develops as a result of the early things you've done. So speaking of SpaceX, I mean, we know Elon Musk is very focused on ultimately getting to Mars. Jeff Bezos with Blue Origin focused on the moon, focused on low Earth orbit uh, and sort of saving planet Earth from heavy industry and, and some of these manufacturing processes, et cetera. For Gaffarian, he's focused on interstellar exploration and travel. So travel to other stars. This is a very long lead time and process, but he sort of sees all of these different steps, low Earth orbit and the commercialization we've seen there, the lunar economy that's now developing, uh, all of the infrastructure for deep space exploration and beyond as these stepping stones, these blocks that have to come together into this big, bigger puzzle uh, to actually realize that vision, which of course we know will probably be several generations out. Interstellar travel, I doubt I'll be here to see it, but I wish I was because the thought would just be so cool. It's just so big. The distance is so great. I, my mind is blown. Morgan Brennan, thank you. We'll see you again, I'm sure. Thanks. Enjoy Colorado. Tell Harriet and said hello.